I'm Sophie Haynes. I play the cello. I am 18 and I've been playing since I was five, so that means 13 years. I started playing the cello because my dad is a music teacher. He teaches piano and academic music in a local grammar school. I actually started on the violin. I decided to switch to cello, which I thought was a much better instrument anyway. Um, so yeah, and that's how I ended and I just kept on going, I guess. I'm Armin and I'm 17 and I come from Munich in Germany and I play the violin. I've been playing the violin for eight years and I picked it up when uh, the music teacher at my school offered um, lessons for free um, and I just thought I would give it a go and I really enjoyed it. So. My name is Lydia Sinclair and I'm 19 years old and I'm a specialist violinist at the Wells Cathedral School. I started when I was very little and it was at primary school. A friend of mine, I remember a talent show, she came and she played some, it must have been Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but I was sort of entranced by it. And I went home saying, Mom, I want to play the violin. And a year later I was still interested and there we go. The two quavers in these bars, it's the similar place that we do. Look after those two quavers, just put a little line on each one of those notes. My name is Matthew Souter. I head the string program at Wells Cathedral School. My own passion as a performer was ignited at Wells Cathedral School. I was here as a violinist and then I changed to viola. It was there that I developed the deepest passion in my life which was for playing in a string quartet and the joys of playing together, ensemble playing. That has really shaped my whole career. I grew up in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia and the music education there is very different from what it is like in the UK and at first it was very difficult for me because I couldn't find a violin teacher who suited me so I made my way through quite a number of different teachers until I found one and I stayed with her for quite a while until I came to Wales. My name's Aisha Doyley. I'm, I'm in my last year of school in Wales Cathedral School. I play the double bass. I'm involved in many other ensembles and orchestras that the school have enabled me to be a part of. And that's probably one of the things why I moved school to become a greater musician than I was able to be in my old school. <laughs> My name is Shu Odawara, I'm 16 and I play the cello. My family is not a musician family but uh, my parents love classical music, western classical music and my sister used to play the piano. I used to live in Saudi Arabia for two years. At that time my teacher entered me in a competition in Bahrain and then I found out about Wales Cathedral School there and I thought I'll audition for it. Sometimes parents ask me, you know, what's the best age to come to Wells Cathedral School as a student? And that really depends on the determination of the student. If they really feel that they want to be a violinist for a career or a cellist or something, I say come as early as they possibly can. I myself was a student at Wells Cathedral School. I came when I was 13 and I wished that I'd come a little bit sooner because it gave me the absolute bedrock to, to build a career on. You know, well, my mother found this school, and it's rather mysterious to me how she found it, but she did. Um, and you know, I went in from my audition, and I've loved it ever since then. My parents were very worried from the beginning because financially they were worried about not being able to support the family since we have no relatives over here, and it's going to be quite a cultural shock so they decided to take the risk anyway. Yeah, I'm very glad they did. Mm. Wells gave me a lot of opportunity to perform and it's a very, it's a very privilege to be a musician and they give you a lot of support and 
they tried to help you as much as possible. This tour is a classic example where I have seen the section principals, for instance, organising sectionals for their own sections because they start to own the product themselves. And this, and when the other students see the section principals doing this, then they themselves, when they become section principals in the years to come, they, it becomes part of their life and, and they understand what's required. Wales has given me determination, maybe, to do what I want to do and do it to the best I can, probably, I'd say. Just that extra drive that actually I can be the best if I just work. <laughs> I think the good thing about Wales is that you've got so many things included. So you've got lots of orchestra, lots of chamber music and solo uh, music as well. And the way you fit it all together in your timetable, I think, teaches you how to actually be a professional musician. Are the audience stands going to be all out here? No, no, no. Touring is important, particularly, I think, for musicians, because we talk about music being an international language, and that can seem a cliché. However, when they share their music in other countries, they really learn that and one seen it here, that they're just thrilled that they go to another country and people still come to their concerts because they want to hear their music. And I think it's really good for them as young musicians to understand that in practice as well as in theory. Well, I think on this tour we've all really gelled a lot. I mean, that's just been really pleasant, everyone kind of getting on and really friendly. And it's been such a lovely experience seeing everyone outside of school, out of their uniform and just kind of as they would be at home, which is actually really nice because it's a side which you wouldn't see to people otherwise. The tours that the school provides have been wonderful and you know, I've been to wonderful places. I mean, I've been to China twice and this is my second time in Germany with the school. And you know, they've been invaluable lessons really to meet such great people. Also the experience of playing to different audiences. I mean yesterday we we're in Rottenburg and just the reception we got was absolutely astounding and it's such a nice sort of treat to be so well received. This tour we are doing the, the Shostakovich Chamber Symphony, great masterpiece and, and it has, the students have found it immensely stimulating. It requires technical discipline and musicianship on an incredibly high level. I think the Shostakovich Chamber Symphony is very interesting, but it's very demanding, so I, I'm never really quite happy about it. I just generally adore Shostakovich. His piece is just, his pieces are so passionate, emotional, I love it so much. It's just so enriching for us to play as well. You get such a kick and like, you kind of think, yes, it was worth all those hours of rehearsing to get such fantastic um, kind of thrills out of the concerts. The hours we put in, obviously, are worth it when we have public standing and applauding us. I just think it's nice to know that the hours that we put in are appreciated. It, it's been wonderful on this trip with this incredible response that we've had from the audiences, for the students to realise that their hard, hard work and all their technical work has really then affects people. So that music making isn't just about playing the notes accurately, and that it's all about communication and what that does for, for people across the world. We work very hard as a team, the students and myself, and I 
feel that they are colleagues of mine, not, I don't treat them as school children. They are professional colleagues of mine. And we aspire to great excellence, but we also have a lot of fun doing it.